Around spring 2018, a particular post was uploaded to the countryballs.net website. This website is mostly a collection of country ball, also known as pollen ball, comics and artworks which numerous users upload for likes and whatnot. Pollen ball art has been around for a while, becoming a well-known internet meme, as well as a way to express personal creativity. That specific post starts the history of a community that has stayed around for more than six years witnessing one of the most interesting world-building projects on the internet. The post was made by a user with the name Zeros. It read, Hello, I am doing a thing where it's alternate history with OCs. Here you have a continent that I will divide into your OC nations. Tell me a region and I will try and split it nice between you. Don't be greedy. Where there is untaken space, I will split it to bordering nations. Along with it were attached three images and three simple maps with terrain, resources, and water bodies. This is the first Oceverse map ever and looked very simple compared to the maps the community would make later on. The first few who were added to the map and pretty much joined this project were known as the Founders. It's considered that the original six who are counted as the Founders were creators of Tiberia, South Yugoslavia, Lamia, Quelles Romania, Tugania, and Slavia. The map was already filled and there were already more people who wanted to join. This community and its world-building saga became known as the Oceavers. Before we dive into its history, I will explain the whole concept and how the project worked. The official spelling of the Oceavers would be clarified much later, but most people simply refer it to it as this. Most likely, the OC part stands for original character, adding a verse suffix signifying it as a separate universe from the rest of the country ball fandom. This name pretty much explains it. The world building, artworks, and roleplay of the OCers happen in a custom world with custom nations and organizations being made by people who then expand on it as time goes on. Entire wars, treaties, political events, military equipment, and so on would be created to contribute to an expanding world. First, it seemed like the main goal was to achieve a geopolitical victory of sorts, but as years went on, that was abandoned for a roleplay to lose system instead, which will be explained in the next videos as we progress along the timeline. Nonetheless, the basis of the project at the moment was the countryballs.net website. The first events of the Oceavers are recorded through the artwork posts and the comments to them. This was later switched to using Discord, we'll get there later. The stage was set, the inverse time was commonly agreed on around the early 21st century, meaning that technology was on the contemporary level and would later go on to reach sci-fi. We will start with the six original nations placed on the first map. The first was Tiberia, forged by the creator and founder of the Oceavers, Xeros, though he is still referred to as Tiberia by most of Severs members. Tiberia was modeled as a Nordic country with a certain right-wing government. It participated in the first wars and the alliances of the Severs, and probably had the largest landmass of all countries. I used the paint dot and magic wand tool to count all the pixels. As a counterpart of Tiberia, the Zathikoslavian Empire, a monarchy basing itself with Catholicism, they would fight on for the top place of the Oceavers, engaging in victory with diplomacy while growing its military. This founder would become known in the Oceavers as simply Zath. He will play an important role in most of the Oceavers. Next is Lamia, a nation on central islands with a certain troubled past. Because of its strategic location, it was considered one of the major military powers, employing a modernized army and navy. Aklamia was involved in the first conflict of the Oceavers and would also become one of the primary targets of a rising international alliance. The other side of the first Oceavers conflict is the United Kingdoms and Tribes of Dugania. It has a rich history and is filled with lots of lore and art. The creator of Dugania, known as Doug, would go on to become one of the most contributing and active members of the Oceavers, which will also be explained throughout these videos. 
taking up almost the entire western island was the nation of Welles Romania, which is described by its creator as a nation with a German culture. The creator of this nation would go on by the shortened named Quell. Although it stayed mostly neutral at first, Welles Romania would become one of the first supposed antagonists of the Oceverse and its community. At last is the Slavia's neighbor Nordic Slavia, shortened to Slavia. He got in at the last moment and wasn't as an experienced artist as the others, but tried his best. His personal story will be told in this video along with the rest. The first months of the Oceverse, as I mentioned previously, went along on the countryballs.net website. However, the first problem arose quickly, that being the countryballs.net website itself. The site was for real-life countryball art and comics, not OC. Several times, many users warned that uploading submissions and other OC stuff would anger Pollen Ball and others. Some information was sent over the private messages on the website, which worked for the first time, but it was just not enough. This dilemma would be solved by the community's migration to Discord, specifically the countryballs.net server. The current countryballs.net server is much different from its earlier form. During mid-2018, when the Oceverse was just growing, Poland Ball made the server for his website, the server itself having only a general chat voice channels. The Oceverse channel was added a bit later when the server had only 8 members. This channel would later become the main place to post roleplay, artworks and everything that concerned the Oceverse. The main map of the Oceverse began to expand as more OC nations were accepted. This meant more artworks, roleplay, and contributors to the growing project. The first wave of newcomers after the original six would eventually fill a world almost twice the size of the starting one. Nova Ruthenia, the Austin Republic, Moldavia, Moldavia, St. Eugeri, Method, Dangation, and Prodia. However, the final nation considered the continent A would become the Norvanian Republic. At first it almost became a microstate on the small islands, but later Slavia would give a small portion. Don't judge these very plain borders though, as the Oceverse mapping at this point was crude. Most people after all were just starting with artworks by opening Microsoft Paint app for the second time in their lives. Life in the Oceverse world, although seemed peaceful at first, would end up deteriorating into more violence as with time nations developed character. The Thekoslavias and Tiberias struggle for number one place, the Klamias and Duganias conflicts due to terrorists, as well as Ostromania's eventual transformation into a socialist republic. These conflicts bound together different nations while some decided to stay neutral. Numerous supposed war plans were sketched by the great minds. Eventually, the first officialized alliance was born, named the Olive Pact. Its first members are Austin Republic, its founder, Moldavia, Slavia, Tugania, Nova Ruthenia, and South Yugoslavia. Although the Olive Pact was deemed economic only, it would later become military oriented as times changed. Zatuko Slavia and Tiberia were the first to fight, however, the war turned out hopeless for both sides, and as such, a treaty was agreed on. This is one of the first of Severs events that could for sure be confirmed as canon as of today. Eventually, the Olive Pact was renamed to the United OC Union. United Union? Yeah, once again, don't judge the names either. Flag change was cool though. The first alliance would go on to become the United Nations of the Oceavers, with a server made public for roleplay with new channels. This would be a lifesaver for the community, since unfortunately, somewhere during 2019-2020, the Oceavers channel, where most of the artwork and roleplay was up, was deleted suddenly. Hundreds of hours of work gone. The UOCU remains the oldest of Seaver servers, holding archives that go back to late June 2018. The Zathikoslavian Tiberian War was for sure not the last, and even though both sides of that reconciled, a new opponent to the world order appeared, in the form of communist Quellas Romania. Well had a short leave from the Oceavers and was occupied, though he returned and regained his nation. At that time, the Oceavers also oversaw an expansion into the space 
as well as Moon and Mars, which were colonized by various powers, especially Quill. He would spend much effort on his nation's spacecraft, which many nations couldn't catch up to. Space wasn't the final frontier for Quill, though. Dangation fell first. A communist revolution made the formerly Duganian puppet state under Quill's influence. A new alliance was also forged, named the Fifth Internationale, apparently succeeding the fourth one. post trotskyism Who knows what Quell had in mind, but he was also gaining new allies, as Nova Ruthenia agreed to join. Another member of the Internationale was Atalus, a puppet state made from occupied Tavirian land. Tensions too much to bear, the world fell into World War I, which lasted only three real-life days resulted in millions of deaths. It was probably the first deadliest conflict to happen in New Sievers at that time. The Allies, led by Zatokoslavia, would emerge to drive out communism from New Sievers once and for all. Ruthenia became a Zatokoslavian puppet state, Dangation returned to Dugania, Adelis was annexed by Tiberia, and a humiliating land loss for Kuehl resulted in the Second Leap. Finally, the main antagonist of the Usivers is gone, and there will finally be guaranteed peace. Shortly after that, Moldavia turned communist and occupied Austin, while Moldavia issued threats with WMDs, even going as far as stating that he wanted to destroy Moldavia and kidnap the Zethokoslavian king. He left the UCU shortly after, so the international community had no choice but to prepare for a new war. A war against the Illuminati. Aside from that, a group of Osiver spectators decided to make their Osiver spin-off. Well and Novorothanian joined in the spin-off, likely seeking to restart their nations, other people. Norvania would create the map for this new Osivers, giving himself colonies on this new continent. Although the Continent A members at first were skeptical of this idea, aside from Quell and Novorothania, the so-called Continent B was filled with interesting artists and new role players. Among them was Kashka, someone who had become an important member of the community. Kashka made lots of art about his OC beforehand, and also made a lot of funny memes. But hey, that was 2018, no post-irony or meta-irony yet. Along with Kashka were new OCs like Nolki, Sermonillo, Valar Sylvania, Makhluan, Alteria, Jangade, and many others. Plenty of new lore and artworks about these new nations were in place. This whole new continent was accepted with time and added to the official map. Both continents would be known as simply Continent A and Continent B. All these landmasses in funny shapes with interesting geographic names. It was all simple. That was the Osivers of 2018. Back to Baldavia, the coalition was able to take the coasts, encircle the supposed warmonger, force him into surrender. Tiberia annexed his lands, thus the continent A lost another old nation. The new Colestromania didn't last long either, as a new nation named Canoria, with a dark story to be told, annexed Quell as a new colony. Quell was gone for good this time, as he did not return for the rest of the Osivers. After these events, the Osivers world enjoyed a period of peace and activity. It could be said that during this time was the golden age of UOCU as Continent B was filled with new members. The community voted on new rules that sought to keep the originality of the Osivers, as well as a solution to a geographical problem on whether the Osivers world was round and whether one could get from, say, Norvania to Austin, or was the world flat, surrounded by an endless forever ocean. There were also elections for the leader of UOCU, which the previous leader, Moldavia, won. However, he resigned shortly after, giving his place to the first and the original leader, Austin. Aside from that, a new roleplay channel was also created, named The Town of Oceville, which was intended as an ironic character roleplay, where each nation was portrayed as a country ball character living in a big town. The Oceville was for shit and giggles mostly, however, many would later regret its existence. Some other interesting stuff also happened that I would rather not go over. As for map changes, numerous inactive nations were removed and replaced. One of these additions would be Friedland, 
also known by his nickname, Vivid, an important veteran alongside Kashka and Doug. The Canorian colony in Quellestromania also got split up by other powers. So much for the no colonizing other continents law. Things were getting kind of boring, so here's a storm which turned into a hurricane and wrecked havoc. Kashka, you good? Method Rusinian Commonwealth? The antimatter bombs? Okay, never mind, they likely got banned for good. Oh, a civil war, where is this one at? Method, are you kidding me? Yeah, messing with the minorities was a bad idea. The Klami and Zuklikoslavia almost destroyed each other over war, gladly that was stopped. For now. Oop, another civil war. Oh, it's monarchists versus fascists in Norvania. This one was pretty quick though, as it was Saf versus Ruthenia. New leader elections resulted in Slavia winning, as he organized a flag change for the server, alongside with some other minor changes. The year problem was finally solved with the decision to make it 2152, the later change to what 2141 in the year count. After that, a bunch of ministers had to go on leave for various reasons. And things just started to turn the wrong way. On the 29th of September, a poll was posted about some OC vs future map which sought to keep the current one, erase apart or all of content B, or eradicate it at all. The reason for this was that the creator of it all, Tiberia, got possibly tired of it all and wanted to make a new one where most of you should qualify. Many panicked, and in roleplay many nations started to fall into anarchy. However, after a few days later, it was clarified that all the anarchy stuff would be non-canon, instead replaced with something similar to the Great Depression. Nonetheless, the decline continued. A lot of nostalgia for the old times, which were only a few months ago, was exchanged by the veterans, as the current map was said to be too crowded and disorganized. The last conflict in the receivers between Oklamia and Zethikoslavia remained unsolved and was likely going to be fought over in one last war. Which didn't happen. By the middle of October, it was clear that the Osiris was reaching its end. Kashka and Dagania were the first to go, citing real-life problems. After that, there was a short debate on the true size of the map, with Tiberia using his old map with a scale, which other ministers didn't agree with. Finally, Zath himself announced his departure. The Osiris isn't what it was used to be. He then released the final map of the Osiris, which split all of Zathikoslavia's lands between his allies. Shortly after, Tiberia announced that he would be closing it himself. It went out of hand and many planned to leave. Everyone was sad to see it go, as many spent numerous hours on the art, roleplay, and meeting new people. However, most of the community obviously did not want to part ways yet, as such, a new Severus was in the works. Tiberia promised a strict system to join with a short interview of all registrants. It was agreed by Most that the canon ending would be a last-ditch attempt by Zithlikoslavia to save the planet, which nuked the world as it would have been destroyed by flooding or global warming anyway. This really was the end of it all. More than a half a year of memories. For some people, it was really important. Oh, the new Severs? It succeeded pretty well. <laughs>